Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. I hope you're all having a good day. And Sydney looks like he's, I don't know. I think he's looking for trouble. I think he's looking to see what he can do. Because he's, uh, uh, Lily Bell and Jonah are there. And I don't know if you can see Sydney. Oh, there he goes. Just wait. You see, he wants to get down. Sydney, he's up on top of the coffee table. So, uh, but yeah, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So I'm uh, continuing to work here on Dusk in the Snow. And, um,. I uh, I worked a little bit yesterday on it, and I, do, I don't ask me where I got it, but I did put on it, because I looked around onto the various sites that I usually go to, and none of them had it, so I went to um, AliExpress, and they still had it. So, if you're interested in this design, you can go there. But, nobody had it, unless they've got it, they call it something else. But I put in Dusk in the Snow, and I didn't come up with anything. But I'll, I'll take a, a, a boo around, and sometimes they'll have a design for a certain amount of time, and then after that, no. So this is a 14 count. So I'm using two threads. And this is B5200. So all this blue here is all white. And I know it kind of looks a little bit on the gray side. But that's only because of the blue background. So... And I'm going to be working on this through till Saturday evening. And that. Thank you all for your very kind comments. And it's wonderful to hear stories about where you learned to crochet, knit, needlework, you know, like cross stitch or needlepoint or whatever, right? It's wonderful to hear those stories about how your grandmother taught you how to do knitting or your great grandmother or your mother or your aunt or whoever it is. And it's just, it's wonderful to, um, to see and to read, you know, how it is that you came to, to, um, do the craft that you're doing. And that, and, um, yeah. So, now I have the question, what is your favorite Christmas movie? What's your, what's your absolute favorite that is on your watch list every single Christmas? And I will tell you mine, and that is Christmas Vacation. Absolutely love Christmas Vacation. It's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those classics. It's, uh, you know, Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo and that and, It's just, oh yeah, that, that is such fun. 
Home Alone is okay. Um, Elf is okay. A Wonderful Life is good. And sometimes I watch it in the original black and white. Or other times I watch the colorized version. White Christmas is another one. Um, there's another one that I really like, and that's um, The Christmas Candle. It was from um, Max Lucado. And it stars Susan Boyle. She sings in there. Susan Boyle? Is that the... No, Susan... No. That's her name. It was Susan Boyle. Oh. Maybe it's something else. I know a Susan Boyle. I think. Worked with her. I think. Maybe that's where I'm getting it mixed up. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that awful? But, yeah. Oh, I can't think of any other Christmas movies. It's, um... But, yeah, I do. I do like to watch them. Have you looked to see what kind of movies there that you're, that, <laughs> oh boy, there it is. It sends Jonah off. Poor Jonah. Uh, what are your most anticipated movies that are coming up? Um, Avatar 2 looks really, really good. Um, I'm thinking about, there's an Indiana Jones movie that's coming up. That's the final installment. So that'll be number, what is that, number five or number six? Can't remember. I am not one for all these Marvel universe whatever it is i think that's just you know the market is saturated with it how about having something more original it's i couldn't care less it's um um I'm not sure what what other ones are coming out. But they're the ones that I'm interested in. Sydney. But I will wait. If, if they don't come out on Netflix or Prime right away, then I just, I wait. I'll, I can wait. You know, I don't watch a lot of TV now anymore. I do mostly where I um, listen to my audiobook or I um, um, listen to music or some Christmas music, especially. And Sydney. And he's only got a little bit of time, almost 36 hours, roughly. He's got a day and a half. So he better jingle those bells, I'm telling you. He better jingle those bells. I'm thinking of getting him a collar with a couple of bells on there. 
because I think he's going to miss them. <laughs> but it's the wrong end. <laughs> yeah. Sydney. Sydney. I don't know what he's trying to get there. So, uh, I'm going to be doing some dishes here right away. I do feel better than I did yesterday. Like, oh my gosh, it was just awful yesterday. It was just horrible. I was so, so, so tired. I uh, ended up taking a half hour nap. Just a second. And I, um, I, um, I felt better. I got up, it was quarter to 10, and church starts at 10. Thank goodness I had him only a few steps away. And, um, so anyway, it's, um, yeah. I was kind of confused when I got up, but it helped. It helped an awful lot because I was starting to feel sick. I was feeling sick, you know, shaky and sick and everything. Oh, just awful. I might be making some bread. I might do that. I haven't made bread in a while. But uh, I haven't gone grocery shopping or anything. Um, Sydney, get down. As um, We're going to Winnipeg on Wednesday, so that's when I will do it. Tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment at 11. Wednesday night, it's supposed to get down to minus 32 degrees. And no matter in what system you use, minus 32 is cold. Oh boy, he found something. Oh, I'm not sure what it is, but he keeps knocking stuff down and... All that that I have no idea anymore. None. So. And. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to show you. Here. I had. Um, oops. Put this here. Of course, I'm sitting on it. I finished off the one ball of yarn yesterday. And then I started the second ball of yarn. So, this is how far I have. And it is... Let me get my measuring tape out here. It is roughly, give or take, um, 46 centimeters, 48 centimeters, or what is this, 19 inches, give or take. So, 47 centimeters. That's at the middle point here. Okay. So I, um, I, uh, I worked on this. It's kind of nice because then when I'm sitting in bed at night, I, I just, I can't stitch because it's too dark. Too many shadows. And so I work on this. 
and I'm I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. And so many of you have said how beautiful these colors are. And it's like, I don't know. In in a world full of um of um you know I don't I don't know what do they say in a world full of of horses I don't know why not be a unicorn right like why why be why be plain when you can add some life to you where you can you know it may look kind of tacky like that that um tacky christmas sweater right or ugly christmas sweater and it's like um you know why not have something and people will look at you and go ooh ah cuz it takes their mind off of you know something that may have happened it may put a smile on their face or it may you know whatever it is it may do something for them and it's it's just for those few seconds maybe a minute and who knows they may talk to their friends about it and say oh you should have seen this lady and she was just wearing this really garish looking uh, shawl and it was so lively and so <laughs> so uh, Sydney it was um, you know really loud and 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 you know but isn't that better than them just kind of having their noses into their phones all the time and just, you know, oh gosh, this is going to go I'm do it this way. It, oh, <laughs> Jonah's down there. He's, um, he's in his little hut and Sydney is bothering him. Sydney. He, he wants to get Jonah to come out and play, but then he plays rough. And um, Jonah doesn't want it. He's trying to escape. So, but yeah, you know, why, why not be, <laughs> uh, you know, right out there and just, you know, bring a smile to people's faces, you know, and say, oh, you know. But if you think about it in the Bible, there was uh, Joseph who had his coat of many colors, right? There was, um, um, oh gosh, was a song that Dolly Parton sang. She wrote it. And it's about, um, I don't know, a, was it a coat or a sweater or something? And it was all different things. And how it was that, you know, like the other kids snickered and everything else. But then in the storyline, it or, or the lyrics line, it was... You know, my mother made it for me, and it's it's wonderful because there was a lot of care and um, everything, you know. People are so easy, uh, you know, find it so easy to just throw things out. I have been watching um, a few videos on how to take apart a sweater to reuse the yarn and which I think is a fabulous idea right so you reap you repurpose you reuse um, you know you restitch what, what, what 
whatever the case may be, right? And um, it's um, it's uh, it's wonderful, you know, it, like people. Nowadays, they think, oh, well, I have to have the newest, the best, the biggest, the most expensive. Why Why is that? Why, why do you have to do that? Why do you, you know, you flash it around and, but it doesn't mean anything, right? I was just using that as an example, but it's, it's like what my daughter-in-law had told my father one time about they had uh, a brand new Cadillac and um, oh you know they spent so much money like $80,000 or whatever the case may be whatever I don't know okay and she said well I have a car that's this old and your car gets you from A to B my car gets me from A to B. Who cares? Right? Who cares? But no, no, no. Everybody has to outdo everybody else. You know, if if Joe Blow has a um, Mercedes S, you've got to have a Mercedes T. I don't know what they are, but I'm just saying. Right? That everybody's got to outdo everybody else. And for me, it is, you know, the yarn costs the same. This is, you know, brilliant and bright and, and cheery. It's just like here, my lanyard. I mean, it's seen better days, right? But... But you can see here, it's got all the colors on it. I need to get a new one. I'll see about getting one on uh, Wednesday when we go to Dollar Tree. So, um, but to me, it it doesn't it doesn't matter. You know, Susie may be um, almost fifteen years old. Well, she is 15 years old. But it gets me from here to there. You know. I may be five minutes behind you. But I'll still get there. You know, your car, your vehicle can break down just as much as mine can. You know. So, it's... Yep. So anyway, I'm just going to continue working using this white B5200. I think I'm going to go and start up a loaf of bread. It won't be done for lunch, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah, and just see what the day brings. I have to go outside and shovel the deck for sure. But it's a nice sunny day. Right now it's minus 22. So I'm just waiting for the, for it to warm up a little bit more. All right, everyone, I guess that's it. So I will just continue working here. And yeah, we'll see what the day brings. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. Because I really like that. So...
May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you. And so do I. And so does Lily Bay. And I don't know. Jonah and Sydney are in the kitchen. So, thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would see that my sins would be forgiven. And I pray that for each and every one of you as well. And if you don't know Jesus, perhaps take the time to get to know him and the sacrifice that he made for uh, so that your sins may be forgiven. And it's easy to do. You just ask Jesus to come into your heart, to save you from your sins, to be there, you know, in those moments when you're, you know, in that deepest and darkest well and you feel all alone, you know. Jesus is there. He's he's reaching down his hand to you. And all you need to do is just reach up and, and, and touch him. And he will lift you up the rest of the way. So, yeah. So, okay, everyone. I guess that's it. And a lot of vehicles going by today. So, I hope to see you again tomorrow, um, you know, God willing, of course, and a um, little troublemaker there, you seeing Jonah, Jonah's having a drink of water, and of course, Sydney's got to be right there, so, he's not going to be feeling too spry on Wednesday, and Thursday, so... All right, everyone, have a great uh, rest of your Monday, and we will see you tomorrow, God willing, of course. Like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, everything. You know it. Toodle-oodles, everybody. Bye.